Hey guys, and welcome to this new video about Fight Cave spawn prediction. Uh, thanks to Frosty who figured out the algorithm for predicting every single mob spawn in Fight Caves, this video was made possible. Uh, he wrote a script as well, which I'll be showing later. Kind of works like this. Uh, if you insert the first two waves, you'll see how the full 63 waves are going to look like, uh, including every single position and also the Jad Healer positions. It's pretty impressive, and in a sort of collab effort, uh, we'll be releasing a very handy spreadsheet listing all the possible Fight Cave uh, rotations. Uh, if you're interested, I'll also demonstrate the script Frosty wrote, uh, and I'll be explaining the algorithm visually. So if you're curious how that works, stick around. Uh, if you're just interested in the spreadsheet, you can click the annotation in this video. It should pop up anytime soon. Uh, if you're a coder or you want to see the script in action, uh, you can click this link to a, a paste bin containing the code. Uh, it's written in C, so if you wish to compile it yourself, uh, you can use the link provided in the description. And it's uh, a site that allows you to compile C online. Uh, so for the next part, I'll be explaining the spawning algorithm visually and the usefulness of the whole thing. So, stay tuned. In order to predict all the spawns, what we have to do is, well, kind of sketch the following situation. I'm on wave 10, a level 90 just spawned in the center, a uh, level 45 spawned in the southeast, and the question is, how is wave 11 going to look? Now let's shift to another angle. Let's view this from kind of like a 2D image, and let's uh, put everything on a map. Alright, so this is how the situation looked like on wave 10. We had a level 90 that was spawning in the center. We had a level 45 that spawned in the southeast corner. Uh, and if you didn't know, or if you're uh, new to fight caves, monsters can spawn in the northwest corner over here. They can also spawn over here in the southwest corner. And they can spawn in the south and obviously over here in the center and the southeast. Uh, they never spawn over here. So only these five positions. Now, in order for us to answer the question, how is the next wave going to look like? Well, first of all, the next wave is going to be a level 90, a level 45, and a level 22. But what we have to do is we have to imagine that something like this exists, something called a spawn circle. Now, this is kind of the thing that Frosty found out. He found out the, uh, the, the logic behind how these mobs rotate because you have to imagine that there's a certain algorithm these mobs follow in order to for the game to decide from hey we're gonna spawn you over here or something like that so this logic was discovered by frosty and i'll quickly explain how it works so first of all what we have to imagine is that is that there are rules for spawning the game has a sort of mechanic to decide where everything is going to be. Now these rules uh, are as followed. We say that there is something called a starting point and the highest monster spawns at this point. You could also call it point zero and the rest of the mobs spawn in descending high to low combat level order. After each wave, so this is to predict uh, the upcoming waves, after each wave shift the starting point forward by one and then spawn the mobs in descending combat level order. So if, if I go, well, I should go forward over here. If I go forward over here, I can see that this level 90 is in the starting position because it's the highest level combat mob, level 90. It's in the center, and the next mob, the the, the, the one that is basically in descending order, uh, the, the next lowest one is the level 45. So the starting point for the level 90 is center. So somewhere on this circle are center positions. Well, I've already like circled them out for you. It's over here. But there are also other center positions. Now, the reason we don't pick these as the starting point is because in this image you can see that the next uh, descending combat level order mob should be on south. Well, it's not on south. And for this one it says it should be on northwest. And while well, the level 45 is on southeast. So this is the only viable position. So now that we've defined the starting position, which is the center for the level 90, uh, we can apply that rule that we just read. So uh, the rest of the mobs, no, sorry, shift the starting point forward by one, and then spawn the rest of the mobs in descending combat level order. So if we look back at this image, let's say I shift this starting position by one, it'll be on southeast. So I can pretty much say that the next mob is going to spawn in the southeast position, so over here. Uh, it's going to be the highest level mob, and the next wave 
uh, I believe is a level 90, a level 45, and a level 22. So I can, I'm going to say that this southeast is going to be a level 90. I'm going to say the southwest position is going to be the level 45. And the south position is going to be a level 22. So if I uh, click ahead, oh, I had it written down here. Uh, you can read it again if you want to. But like I said, the next position is going to be looking like this. Now let's check back into the game to see if that actually happened. Time for the moment of truth. Let's see if this thing actually works. So like we had, we had the level 90 in the center, we had the 45 coming from the southeast. We said the level 90 is going to be coming from the southeast, the 22 south, and the 45 southwest. Let's see what happens. I see something in the south. It's the 22. I can see the range coming from the southeast and the level 45 is coming from the southwest. So hey, this works. It checks out. Now if your next question is going to be, well, how about the other waves? How do you predict how the rest is going to look like? Well, it's pretty easy, right, at this point. Uh, we know that if the center was the starting point for wave 10, that means that the starting point for wave 11 is southeast, the starting point for wave 12 is southwest, the starting point for wave 13 is south, and so forth. And it's just going to spawn in the mobs like this. So let's say we were on southeast, we knew that the mobs were going to spawn like this. Let's say now we're going to go to the next wave, which is southwest, so we shift to 4 by 1 again, and then we spawn in the rest of the minions, um, and the next wave is going to be south, and then we spawn pretty much like this, for example. And they all spawn in descending comet level order, so you always know where the highest is going to be, and you know how the rest of the wave is going to look like. Now, the rest of the video um, is going to be about uh, the script that Frosty wrote, because this was the visual explanation of how the algorithm that Frosty discovered worked. Uh, I'll also be talking uh, a bit about the spreadsheet. Uh, I'll scroll through with it and kind of, uh, kind of let's explore what uh, we can see on there and what the implications are of certain rotations. Okay, so this is the script that Frosty wrote. Um, it's on Pastebin. The link should be in the uh, description. I'll also add it, uh, I'll realize I'm going to add it as an annotation here as well. So uh, if you want to open this right now, you can just click the annotation that should be coming up anytime soon. If you want to open this script, you have to do the following. Just copy the raw paste data that was on the bottom of the page. So I was scrolling down as I was talking. Uh, copy and paste this, then open... Um, the site, the tutorial point compile C online thing, uh, which is also in the description. Uh, or if you're lazy like me, just click the annotation. That is, should be coming up right now. Uh, so I copied this. I'm going to paste it over here, replacing uh, the basic script that was already over there. I'm going to hit compile. And then I'm going to press execute. So now that we've opened the script, you can see that it asks two questions. Uh, it asks you, uh, what was the first 22 spawn? Um, so if you're on wave 1, a 22 is going to spawn somewhere. Uh, let's say it spawned on the south. And then it asks you uh, a follow-up question. Where did the next 22 spawn? Uh, let's say the next one, uh, next ones spawned on southeast and southwest. Um, what you get now is you get all the waves that uh, go up all the way to 63 as I'm pressing enter over here. Uh, what you can also see is where the JAD healers are going to spawn. So this is the script that, that Frosty wrote. You can play around with it. You can perhaps use it uh, like uh, during a fight cave just to see how everything looks like. You can keep it on the side of your screen. Um, this is very neat. This is where I based the whole video off of and also uh, the explanation that Pro Frosty uh, uh, provided about the algorithm to visual explain it to you guys. Um, this is obviously really neat. Um, me and a friend had a uh, an idea to kind of like put all the uh, cave spawns into a, a Google Doc. So this is the spreadsheet that uh, a friend of mine and me we made it together. Um, it shows you the, and this was pretty interesting to be, it kind of showed you how many rotations there actually were. And uh, we found out using Frosty script that there were 15. 
So imagine Snake having like four rotations and then you have Jad he has like 15 rotations. It's pretty neat. Um, we tried to put the uh, rotations up over here to show you where Jad is going to be uh, from the start. And reading it, it, sh it should be pretty simple. I'm kind of explaining this in the reverse order I want it to be. But um shows the waves on the left side. Uh, they clip. Or how do you say that? They can. They're like latched to the side. So if you scroll like this, the wave should still should still show over here. And if you scroll down, this one should still show on the top. So um, the reason we put these jads over here in the uh, in the first line is because we found out that the northwest jad is actually one of the best jads you can get if you're uh, running uh, the five caves uh, and you're speed running it. Which is because, let's say we take rotation 10. Um, actually, there's a better one. Let's say we have this rotation, rotation 12. You can see that the healers spawn in the south, center, or sorry, uh, center, south, southeast, and southwest. Now, these are absolutely bad healer spawns because Jad is all the way in the northwest. And uh, the healers have to waste so much time walking to Jad. You can pretty much just pick them off if they reach you, or you can just be like, uh, you, you you're gonna kill Jad before the healers reach you, basically. Uh, and on wave ten, there's only one uh, northwest healer that spawns, so you can just like uh, uh, attack it once, get it off Jad, and then you can continue focusing down Jad. So northwest are really good rotations in our opinion. Uh, the rest of the sheet can be really useful. Because let's say you're pure and you want to find out which waves are like really dangerous or something like that. Uh, I'm not. I haven't really done any pure fight caves um, or like uh, what's the crazy thing like this rendimento guy. If you've never seen him before, he does like crazy uh, low level fight caves, you know. And if that's something you want to try. Well, you could use the sheet to find out exactly which wave or which rotation you want to uh, do. And you can pretty much just cycle rotations by uh, uh, just uh, doing the first two waves. If it's not the rotation you want, you can just step out. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Big shout out to Frosty uh, for figuring this whole thing out, making everything possible. Uh, mini shout out to Quaffle for coming up with the spreadsheet idea, uh, and among some others from uh, notably the Rabbit Discord and the OSG Discord for helping me uh, on some other stuff. Um, that was pretty much it from my side. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, what's coming up for me from the future is uh, I'll be making a uh, video about improving fight caves optimizing uh, uh, your time, how do you get a like a good time, you know, like suppose you want to speed run the caves, what's the kind of stuff you can try out. Um, and there's also going to be a video about uh, Sire, I'm going to be comparing maging the vents, and ranging the vents, and some other stuff, notably uh, the Corporal Beast, how you can predict. No, it's not exactly prediction, what's well, sort of a prediction, but how you can figure out where the, uh, the core is going to spawn. So again, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and uh, happy holidays ahead.